Works Hybrid Training Gym in DeKalb, Illinois with one of our huge success, success stories, Molly Stofa. Um, Tim, we're going to ask you to zoom in or get a close up. We're going to post these pictures later today on Instagram, hashtag eat by color. So hashtag eat by color. You can check it out. It'll be a blog post tomorrow on eatbycolor.com. Um, Tim, were you able to get that? Yeah. Okay. So Molly, share a little bit about yourself. I am a 39-year-old mother of two. Um, work part-time at a in busy ER, and I'm also in school full-time. Um, I used to be a very, very active person. Then I had kids, and life happened, and I got fat, and I couldn't take it anymore. So with the help of Ray, I got healthy, and here I am today. Now, all right, so you were, the first time I talked to you, you were already exercising. Mm -hmm. Yes. And... Well, like, how much time were you exercising and what were you doing? I was doing five to six days a week um, at home, lightweight, and, you know, it was, it was one of those in-home, at-home workout programs, like, I don't want to name the name, but, and it did work, but I never had the diet thing down. I never, like, I was eating what I wanted. I was counting calories and I was never satisfied. I was constantly hungry, like, I was miserable. I was cranky all the time. I just couldn't get satisfied. And I wasn't, I got to a point and I, I stalled and I couldn't do anymore. So that's when I came to you. So, all right. So you're already working out mm -hmm. five to six times a week. And that's something we hear a lot from folks that when they're new to us, they're already putting in the effort. They're putting in the time, really the huge opportunities for us to help them not waste that time. And a lot of times help them reduce the amount of time they spend exercising. So let's cover exercise first. Mm -hmm. Back then, five or six days a week. How many days a week is it now? I about three, three to four. So, and we see that a lot as well. You and cut. No cardio. No all right, cardio. so no cardio. We were gonna, I was going to ask about that. So you're not doing cardio at all right now. And again, Tim will have you zoom in at the pictures because the pictures are worth a million words and we'll drive that point home. So no cardio and you've cut the amount of time you're mm -hmm. coming to the gym in half. Now, all right, in fairness, you weren't coming to the gym as much before. Sure. You were a member of another club before, but nonetheless, you were five or six times a week mm -hmm. exercise. Now you're three. And do you find that more compatible with kids, school, work, oh, et cetera? For sure. for sure. Definitely. Um, I actually look forward to coming to the gym. Previously, I hated it. I dreaded it. I didn't want to go. I have my plan in place. I get my music on and I just go and I do my thing and I'm done and I much better mood. Life's a better. It's a better day. So in sure. results are there. Oh yeah. So you're making progress mm -hmm. now. Food-wise, what was your eating like before? You've already said, I was hungry. I mean, kind of walk us through mm -hmm. what was existing or living like um, pre-Eat By Color. I was, I was, I am a carb queen, I'm just gonna say. I not was, because I still am. I love carbs. Um, I pasta three, four nights a week, uh, maybe ate breakfast. Um, now, like, I didn't, make the wisest choices. I was more concerned about eating a perfect serving size of low calorie, like low fat, not real food. It was all the processed crap that's out there. I fell gimmick to the, I fell victim to the gimmick of low cal, low fat, all that. And it doesn't work because I didn't realize how much sugar and all their additives are in it versus this, where now I'm eating wholesome food. I'm preparing my own meals. I'm eating protein with every single serving of every single meal. Um, I work 12 hour shifts in a busy ER and I still find time to get all of my meals in there. I'm still satisfied. Sure, there's those days where I can't, um, but I don't feel deprived. Are you eating more now than you were oh, before? Yeah, so lot. you're eating more and you're losing weight. Yeah. And I recall a conversation that one of our, our club members had made with you and then they reiterated to me, which was you were eating about double what she was mm -hmm. and you were losing weight and she wasn't. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, and in, in that's something that's kind of common is once we start teaching people to eat more of the foods that they actually like, again, eat by color is not a diet. We don't put you in a box and say, don't, can't, only this. There's no counting, no macros, no calories, no points. Um, instead, it's what do you like to eat? And then we teach you to eat more of those foods that help you eat your goals. And it sounds like you're not as hungry nope. or you're not hungry. It sounds like you're, there's always abundance of food. Yeah. And then the big thing is when we look at Obviously, ER nurse, hospital environment, anybody that's been around healthcare or yet a lone worked in a hospital environment, 
knows how crazy busy it is, you're still able to find a way yep. to get your meals in. Mm -hmm. And then what happens, so let's say that you don't get your meals in. Is it the end of the world? No, it's not. I, if I'm hungry when I get home from work, even if it's midnight, I eat because I'm not, I can't function when I'm hungry. So I'll eat and I'll go to sleep. It's one day, it's not that big of a deal. I start over the next day and I keep, just keep hacking away. If I want, you know, like this past weekend was my birthday. I wanted French fries. I had French fries and it's okay. Today's and a it's, good day. And it's not the end of the world. No. So, there's, so you're not guilty for having the fries. Mm -hmm. You're not stressing, you're not wasting your time doing cardio, because no. you don't do any cardio, you're no. not trying to cardio off the fries. No. And did you, happy birthday, did you actually enjoy your birthday? I did, I had a great time, it's great and weather. That's one thing we see so many people do is they, hey, it's my birthday, I really want fries, or whatever it might be, they don't do it, they don't celebrate, they don't enjoy the day, because they're so afraid of what it's going to do to their progress. And you're sitting here telling me you had fries and it didn't matter. Right, it didn't. And you're telling me that if you miss a meal at work and you get home at midnight and you eat and go to bed, it's not a big deal. It's not. Now, fast rewind to back before you started doing Eat By Color, mm -hmm. how freaked out would you be over having fries where you have high oh, calorie, I mean, high fat? I would be just, I'd beat myself up and most likely fall off track. And for a good month, two months, three months, put all the hard work, the weight back on and be miserable again. So the once fat pants were now too tight, so they were skinny pants, so to speak, and it was a vicious cycle until I was able to learn through Eat By Color how to eat appropriately and how to eat to live. And I, you know, if like Ray has said numerous times, if you want a piece of cake, have a piece of cake, as long as you're consistent, 98, was it 80% of the time you say consistency? It works. It does. It, you got to live life because life is too short. And then, speaking of that, you have to live life. What happens when you live life, and I'm going to set you up for this question, but <laughs> what happens when you live life and you make it more life or lifestyle, as we call it, your change in your results end up being long term. So, that being said, how long ago did we start working together on Eat By Color? Three years, three, four years. So, again, when we look at the litmus test, for a nutrition plan, whether or not you're going to be successful or not, the proof is in how long can you do it pudding. Mm -hmm. If Eat By Color was a diet for Molly, she would have been off of Eat By Color two and a half years ago, but you're still doing it today. For sure, for sure. And, you know, to be truthful, our entire family is doing it. And our, our kids are doing it, my husband's doing it, and all of us are healthy. I don't buy the junk anymore, my kids don't miss it. They, they even love coming in here too, working out. So. I, it is, it's tough to get started, but once you get used to it and accustomed to it, you don't even think about it. You really cool. don't. Cool. Any questions from anybody, Tim? Nope. All right. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for tuning in. If you're on social media, we'd love to hear from you. Your questions are tomorrow's video podcast or otherwise. Uh, this video is brought to you by Eat By Color and Exercise Galore. Exercise Galore. And don't forget to also check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash fitworksdecalb, and then also our podcast. Just search Get Fit and Live Healthy on iTunes. Book bundle. Book bundle. Leap your deal. You get both of these for 30 bucks. This will take care of your nutrition. This will take care of how do I safely buy train it. in the gym buy and get it. results. Buy and Molly it. says buy it. She's living proof. <laughs>